Today we're going to talk about a systematic approach to the echo assessment of adults with congenital heart disease. Turning our attention now to the next most common atrial septal defect, the primum atrial septal defect, as demonstrated by this asterisk. We're looking here at the heart from the left side, left atrium on the right side of the screen, left ventricle on the, on the left side of the screen. And the other important finding that's demonstrated here is a cleft in the anterior mitral leaflet. So primum atrial septal defect and cleft mitral valve often go hand in hand. The other characteristic features that we want to look for in this type of defect is an abnormality of the tricuspid valve because this is a defect close to the, uh, uh, very close to the atrioventricular valves where the AV valves are frequently abnormal. In addition, a uh, ventricular septal defect may be present, and in that case, uh, we would call this a transitional or partial AV septal defect. And then left ventricular outflow tract obstruction may occur later in life. One of the pearls uh, for this type of atrial septal defect is that the electrocardiogram characteristically demonstrates left axis deviation and first degree atrioventricular block, a common question on board examinations. And here are some real-time images, again, apex down format. The blue arrows on the left panel demonstrate the right atrium on the top and right ventricle on the bottom. And as we look at these images in real time, you'll note that the atrioventricular valves are at the same level uh, and that there is a large defect uh, in the lower portion of the atrial septum, a primum atrial septal defect. With color flow examination, we can see flow through that primum atrial septal defect and then tricuspid regurgitation as well as some uh, mitral valve uh, regurgitation in this particular patient. Other associated defects with this primum defect or partial atrioventricular septal defect uh, are important. We've already alluded to the cleft mitral valve as is demonstrated in these short axis images. The image on the left with the arrow demonstrates a large cleft, and as we look at that in real time, we can see that, of course, there would be important mitral valve regurgitation associated with this cleft. Always important to look for it and very important to close at the time of operation. The image on the right just demonstrates a measurement of the uh, cleft size, which is close to one centimeter. And here we have an image of another associated abnormality, and that is a double orifice mitral valve, and this can also be seen in patients with partial atrioventricular septal defects or primum atrial septal defects. So a nice example, you could see the two orifices of the mitral valve. For more information on other programs in the tutorials in echocardiography series, as well as other educational series, please visit our website or email us at the information shown on the screen. Thank you for joining us.